labor shortage continues and managers of businesses are saying they are overwhelmed and overworked. It is an issue that we've seen since the start of the pandemic and now managers want to know why people aren't still willing to work. Our Keelan Barian is joining us here in the studio. Keelan, uh, you had some conversations today uh, with a bunch of different people kind of collecting ideas and thoughts from them. What did you find out? Mike and Eva, just to give a visual representation, this is the general manager of the Kendallwood Suites in Erie, and she's doing the jobs that should be done in other departments. Now, she says she's been trying to hire people, but they show up to the interviews and they don't get, they don't show up to the interviews and never get hired. Dawn Wassel says she's never worked so hard in her life. Right now I'm working six days a week, um, 12 hour days. She's the general manager at Kendallwood Suites on Edinburgh Road in Erie. She checks in guests, inspects rooms, and folds laundry. Wassel has hired people before, but she says they usually stay no longer than a week. So she sees herself doing jobs in other departments, like how she's folding laundry here. I'm supposed to work Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, 8 to 5. And you over here doing like double shifts? Months. Double shifts, you know, basically uh, trying to keep the overtime down, but we're so short staffed, that's impossible. Data shows the unemployment rate in Erie is 6.1%. According to President of Career Concepts Mark Turner, the amount of open jobs are at an all-time high. Making a commitment to go to a go to an interview or go to a job, you know, you should really kind of kind of think it through uh, before you make that commitment uh, because um, there's a lot of time invested by um, all companies and onboarding. She says every time she posts a job, usually the same 15 people apply. She'll schedule an interview, but the candidates don't show up. I think they're required to apply for jobs to satisfy the needs for unemployment, and that's what they're doing. So she called the unemployment office. The girl didn't even know what department to send me to because nobody's ever called to complain that people weren't showing up for their interviews. So I don't think unemployment cares. I've done hospitality for 20 years. I've never had this kind of problem with attaining people or retaining people. So Wassel, the last time Wassel was stood up on an interview was last week, but at least four other people came in for an interview. Now we just have to wait and see if they will stay longer than a week. Reporting from the studio, Keelan Berry and Erie News Now. The problem exists. It continues.